Meghan Markle here. Today is November 14, 2023. It is 1 uh, no, 1.30. Wow, already 1.30. 1 1.36 a.m. And uh, I have a couple tweets to share with you. It took me a while to put it together. Um, I was trying to finish edit yesterday's video and I just finished it, well, a while ago. And I had to put the list together for uh, tonight or this morning whichever you want to call it um okay so i have 13 tweets to share with you on this channel and i have about let me see two four five tweets for my charity channel i'm not sure if i'm gonna record them tonight but some of them i've already shared them here but i want to record it for my other channel because it has to do a little bit more background of harry the things that he's been doing his resume and things like that so i want to put it on the charity channel so maybe i'll record it tonight or maybe tomorrow but let's focus on this all right so this is this will be the first tweet and uh let's do a quick review of uh this channel background 3467 subscribers new subscribers welcome estimate revenue 310 i don't know this number it keeps on going down at one point it was 317 and it went back down to 290 ish something and then keeps on going ba back up and then back down again up you know so who knows by the end of uh, this uh, period how much i'm gonna have on my account so if you want to support my channel because what i want to do is share as many information as i can and share my opinion with you for free so if you have some extra you know extra cash my uh, paypal and my patreon if you want to be a member and my cash app the link or uh, in the description all right so let's look at my analytic so i can move forward okay there's that three ten three hundred ten dollars and twenty cents in the last 48 hours three thousand thirty eight views uh was it sixty seven three thousand four hundred sixty six i thought it was sixty seven what was that oh okay did i read it wrong before or did it maybe it just change i'll see when i'm editing but anyway let's move on okay let's keep this aside I right. let's just keep this aside i mean the amount of evil that's going on and this world is unbelievable god you need to come and reset just reset too many evil people feel so comfortable and pride to just do evil thing all right so the reason i want to share this one because i've spoken about him before on pure yte i have a video about him when he was arrested um was it him <laughs> there's so many of them i know i have a picture of him on in one of my thumbnails on pure yte so it seems like he went to trial and they find him guilty. So let's see what's going on here. Because I just saw it while I was trying to put a list together. And I saw it and I thought I'll, uh, you know, continue sharing this. Because I spoke about him before. Okay, Prince Andrew's pal found guilty of sexual assault for women. Peter Nagard, aka the Canadian Jeffrey Epstein, was also accused of organizing the rape of his son. What the hell? The rape of his son, then age 14 and 16. What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? Rapists and pedophile, the entourage of the British royal family. Oh my God. A 14 year old. Close to my oldest son's age. Oh my God. Okay, so let's continue. This is the son. 
Um, Hotel Odile, Prince Andrew's pal, Peter Negard, 82, found guilty of sexually assaulting four women in hotel room with no door handles. The fashion mogul invited Andrew, an ex Sarah Ferguson, to his luxurious estate in the Bahamas in 2000. Okay, so that was recently. <laughs> oh my God. The, I'm telling you, the newspaper uh, in the UK, I think they're done with the royal family. They made sure to do the attachment, the association. Okay, Peter Negard allegedly organized the rape of two of his sons, age 14 and 15. Oh my God. What the hell is wrong? His, uh, maybe he was training them to do this kind of behavior. When you listen, for instance, you know what? Let me not go there. Let me not go there. Okay, Nagod's sons were 14 and 15 when he ordered his girlfriend to rape them. What? Peter Nagod was a very close friend of Andrew, of Prince Andrew, the royal pedophile. Okay, there's more headline. Fashion tycoon Peter Nagod's two sons accused him of paying his sex worker girlfriend to rape them when they were just 14 and 15 to make men out of them. That, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah, maybe he was training them. That was back in 2020. To make a man out of them. Why? Why go that route? With the amount of, you know, disease, hopefully they use protection. Okay, I'm determined to see my father jail for rape, says Peter Negard's son. That was 2021, January. Okay, Prince Andrew and billionaire associate Peter Negard Prince Andrew's billionaire associate on trial over sex assault claim by five women. But it's funny, I didn't come across this. Well, now I do, I guess. So forget what I was thinking. Like when the trial was going on, because if I had originally started talking about him and I was aware the trial was going on or somebody was talking about it, um, I would have uh, followed too. But here again, I'm seeing this. So that's why I'm sharing that. Fashion mogul Peter Negard is accused of using his power to lure five women separately into a bedroom attached to his company headquarters where he sexually assaulted them. 27 September 23. So that was uh, in September, two, two months ago, right? Okay, pedo magnet. Uh, can I say that? Prince Andrew, other pedophile friend, prep school priest who came to his 1986 wedding to Sarah Ferguson. Uh, this is very small. I'll enlarge it when I'm editing and you guys could pause it if you want to read it. Because right now, as I'm recording, I cannot see it. I mean, I sort of could, it would be too much for me to just try to figure them out. Okay, wow, well, I didn't know about that one. It never ends with that family. Okay, who does this to their own flesh and blood? Evil, there's my comment here. Them, these lots, Prince Andrew's spouse. Okay, disgusting, yuck. Yeah, it is very disgusting. My goodness. All right, so I'm done with that. Since I saw it, I just want to get it out of the way. Let's go to the next tweet. Now we are in the royal family, kind of left behind royals. Next tweet. So there's this here. Calling celebrities a downgrade when these are what your royals look like. I swear, royal bootlickers are deranged. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh. The downgrading other people. I mean, let's put it that way. Because in my old self, before I was aware of all of this, I had that mentality where they are, you know, when you think of royal, you think of the best, you think of the highest of things. Uh, but with that kind of mentality, there's some stuff that attached to it. There's principle, there's uh, some sort of a respect, there's some of a, uh, you will think they know better in terms of treating other people. I don't know if I'm making sense, right? But when I look deeper into them, I'm seeing their kind of behavior, their way of doing things. It's like, you would have thought it's like, I don't know. Poor people don't even behave like that. It's like the bottom of the bottom feeders. Poor people don't even behave like that. Poor people have more understanding, sensibility, 
empathy, you know, understanding, care, respect, and all of that. But these people have none. They have absolutely none. So in my old self, I was tricked into believing them were somewhat more... How, how, what's the word? I hope when I'm editing, I find the word because knowing what I know now, they are freaking pest, dirty, and it's just disgusting. All right, so let's see here. And neither are celebs, but on the overall scale, royal to celeb, in my opinion, is downgrade, and I don't care what you say. All right, so this is the person who's downgrading celebrities, but when you look at this lot, you know, sleeping around, have, oh, it's just crazy. Okay, never working their entire lives, no personality, live in government properties while having a fair and swiping their partners. That is as far their talent go. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, sleeping around and do all sort of crazy thing. <laughs> That's me here, spotlight. <laughs> Okay, that was like 45 minutes. The old people balcony was more lively. Mm. Okay, so there's that. But they are all fighting for celebrity status popularity. She should let that sink in. Yeah, they want to look at everything that they want to do to bring a spotlight to their BS. They have to call a celebrity. But whatever. I thought they should be able to hold anything on their own. The minute they do something, people should gravitate toward them. But they can't. All right, the cat is out of the bag. And Princess Diana, um, what is it? Princess Diana um, wasn't even impressed at them. There was one recording of Princess Diana when they first met where she didn't give a shit about him. I think that was when he was seeing uh, Diana's sister or something like that. He tried to lure her in or something. She didn't give a shit about her. I mean, that Princess Diana, they picked the wrong one, all right? Unfortunately, you know, she became the mother of, you know, to, to somewhat studying the Pandora box, open the, uh, let people see how nasty they are. But uh, unfortunately, during Princess Diana's time, we, many people were not aware. My mom's generation and perhaps my grandmother's generation were not paying attention to them. To see the nonsense that was going on but princess diana sort of cracked the code a little bit and then now we see the full bs of it of uh, her son both of them you could see the difference the the one that princess diana was raising and the one that the institution raised okay next tweet drip 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 oh well okay gb news prince william feud with charles could erupt William may spark fight with Charles over comments. What was the comment? Prince William feud with Charles could erupt. William may spark. Okay, so what's going on? So they must know something to start. They're gonna let things out. They're not. They're not gonna hold uh, their secrets anymore. This is this is the reason why William um, Harry didn't wanna play with their dirty games. Okay. Put you in a chokehold and then little at a time they're letting things out and then you're afraid oh my god when are they gonna say and then harry just you know you're gonna say it just say it and then i'll deal with you in court okay we ban you quote the snakes were slithering inside the palace just imagine what they put that 90 plus evil woman through in her final years between king air and men and gray suit that's for sure i mean when i first realized that uh, these the royal family were hiring politician into their circle I, I was like i was shocked i was shocked i was like why would you hire a politician to be in your circle this should have been completely separate completely separate why because the U the uk royal family are somewhat part of the government okay so once they know how you operate how you do things they pretty much will use everything against you and then you have the the uh, the papers who were pretty much starting to uh, uh, you know sneak in from the time the queen's father passed. I mean I've been saying this, so it's like broken record now. Okay, I'm here for it. Sip sip. 
okay gentlemen um i said that loosely for the theatrical purposes only start your engine let the games begin yep they're gonna start letting things go they're gonna start telling their secret i do love violence okay we are not interesting in their fight i want to know what the, the hell they're doing uh, maybe it's secrets that the paper holding against them oh that's nice <laughs> that's what i say here okay i bet they got this straight from the horse's mouth that was some horse and i'm telling you she I'm, i always feel that way she's like a mole they put in there and then this guy just fall for her uh, for her mm -mm -mm. the gibberish news folks are masters and mistresses of invention the older son is disrespectful he hasn't achieved much yet he wants his brother's freedom but at the same time he wants the king and have his benefit that will never happen i don't think anyone in this family really want to be king the way the monarchists imagine it i mean back then both of them harry and um william said they didn't want it but unfortunately william this was destined for him he has no choice but now the thing that he's doing is unbelievable okay let's go to the next street this is an ad so we'll stop here next tweet okay so there's that here uh is this a joke time for empathy this is a lost human <laughs> this is a lost human unable to create ideas on his own so she retweeted that news prince william pays homage to his brother prince harry what what <laughs> please prince harry the the people's prince by wearing the same military uniform previously worn by Harry. Oh, please. I mean, that's just a uniform. The other, there's people who's not even royal who's part of the military wear this uniform. What the hell? They're really trying. Yeah. You know what? There I am. I'm talking about it. This is, that's all they wanted. That's all they wanted. They got us. And they got me too. Yeah. That's all. They just wanted the, the connection because... Remember the, the squad were in the mute challenge? Okay. So that's all. They just want us to talk about it. There's no homage. Uh, please. They just want to associate. The minute you see Prince Harry's uniform or picture next to him, okay, the squad going to talk about it. And there I am. I'm talking about it. So I fall for it too. Okay. Since I'm already here, let's just continue to share it. I could easily cut it out. But hey, why, why not? The stupidity of them. Okay. <laughs> and myself too, I guess. Uh, this is Willie Lee trying to attach himself to Invictus 23. He won't stop. He wants whatever Harry has. Everything Willie Leaks. Wait, 10 years before you marry her. Harry, there's that here. Okay, you would think you could trust him. I remember when I was stood on my head to touch him. Me and my neighbors will sit on the front porch smoking cigars and talk forever about it. Only Harry and Meghan kept my little dreams alive of kings and queens. They will. <laughs> Oh my god. They thought, damn, how petty. Vindictive behavior is not rubbing off. What can we do? Dress up quickly, Willie. No, not Aspeg. Cosplay, Prince Harry, and other true vets like KKK tries to do with Princess Meghan. You have to. Uh, why show how important Harry is to that country? All right, so let's go to the next tweet. That was unnecessary, but I have it here. I could easily remove it. It's just so stupid. Next tweet. Okay, Angela Levine doesn't want to be human, but she wants all the advantages of being human. <laughs> I swear, I'm still laughing about it. When I first saw it, like an hour ago, there's my comment here. Laughing my ass off. I just let out a laugh in the middle of the night. LOL. <laughs> so there's uh, GB News here. She retweeted GB News. Prince Harry doesn't want to be royal, but wants all the advantages of being royal. Oh, please. Harry left. He's minding his own business. What advantage of being what? The only thing that he wanted, his father doesn't want him to have it, even though he wants to pay for it, was the security. That's it. That's it. And he wants to pay for it. And then it's not like it's only royals who could get that kind of a security. Other people have had it. We've talked about it in other videos where that, uh, was it? What's her name? Who was getting married? I have a screenshot of it. All right. Hire a couple dozens of people. Uh, police during her wedding it's not like heavy cannot afford it he my goodness they just want to be petty okay i'm waiting for the day gb news fell okay it will be a long road but never say never there's me here that's a ad okay so that was it let's go to the next street
again it's regarding GB News again okay Prince Harry is home with Meghan Archie and Lily there's the smile Prince Harry's absence at Royal Legion Festival of Remembrance Park calls for Duke to come home <laughs> I'm telling you they really wanted the uh, the squad to talk about it right now is what the 14 days after so I'm recording this I, I completely sh shut down with them he is home is wherever his heart is his heart is Megan Archie and Lily that's his home okay so there's me here responding an hour ago why so he can overshadow the others he is fine where he is okay there's this here it's the most disgusting vile thing ever Harry is a married man and a father to two boots okay to two boots uh, but you're asking for Prince Harry to come back home and what leave the whole family he has created and come back to the UK I really truly worry that the royal family will Diana were I mean with our prayers I mean they are trying with our prayers this will not happen okay so we need to think somewhat on a positive okay um, let's see there's two comment under it here okay I cannot see it okay so there's that. Like Obama's two-time election in the U.S., Harry's departure truly broke something in areas of the U.K. psych, not to mention the voter press machine. All right, so that's ad. Let's go to the next tweet. All the chase and everything, that's it. And one of the things that I've said, okay, this is reality. No matter what, there's always the possibility. Harry and Meghan should put right somewhere in a will or whatever. God forbid if something happened, who should have custody of the kids? Because these people will come and scoop the kids with their power, okay? And then try to bring the kids over there so they could abuse them. And then for them to learn those bad behaviors. So Harry and Megan, the, the parents right now, should write somewhere who should have custody. God forbid if something happened. Some of you may be upset at me, but reality is reality. And we've seen what happened. Look, for instance, the New York chase, okay? Who were there? All three possibilities who could look after the kids, okay? Just keep that in mind. And then we pray toward that and make sure the inevitable never happened. Okay, next tweet. Imagine telling Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, they can't follow their dreams and be all that they can be just because they were born second and third and can't outdo their older siblings. That is the plight of the spare. You can clip wings of female spare like Anne and Margaret, but not Harry. All right, so there's that. Boom. Um, he wasn't even allowed to advance to the military rank he had earned because he would have been above William and that can be. I mean, these people are ridiculous. Boom. All right, so that's an ad. Is it done? Yes, it's done. Let's see the two comments here. Okay, forbidding Harry to rise further in military rank was particularly evil of the royal family. Yep, he can be the major he should have been. <laughs> this is crazy. But yet, they're not even trying. If the others were trying... We would understand, but they're not even trying. Look at this on my last video where I put, actually I could put it here, where Oprah was saying they wanted Megan to be 50% less of herself so th she doesn't overshadow the other ones, okay? And I, I recall early on when I first approached her in 2018 and she had just joined the royal family and she shared a conversation with me then that really... Um, made me feel somewhat disheartened because she said uh, she had been told, been given advice uh, to, uh, that it would be best if she could be 50% less wow. than she was. Wow. That was the quote. If she could be 50% less. It's funny, I didn't think about this on my last video or even previously. One thing that I just got from listening to Oprah saying, Megan, was asked to be 50% less of herself is the fact that the propaganda they've been spreading throughout the world for centuries that uh, black person or less lesser than you know they incapable of being whatever nonsense they've been spreading out uh, imagery about brutal pagan bestial but the media is a powerful force black people in the literature um, and in the imagery. Cartoons portraying black people as licentious and depraved began to circulate. 
So for Megan to fit into that mold, they had to tell her to be 50% less of herself. That's all it was. Okay, and of course, the lazy ones will of course be overshadowed. So for the spotlight don't shine on the lazy one to show that they are the one who's incapable of doing great things. Okay, so pretty much is for Megan to fall within the propaganda of black people or darker skin or lesser than or incapable of achieving of doing of whatever nonsense all right so that just crossed my mind and i remember hearing that in 2018 and said specifically to her i don't know how you're going to survive being half of yourself well i, th I think and it's the I, fact I, that she yeah. yeah i think it's important isn't to say that something yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still stunned by that. I don't know how you ask anybody to do that. Yeah, that they were not paid for the interview, yeah, yeah. and the interview was not at my house. There's something going the on night. about, it's at Gail's California <laughs> mansion. I was wondering I hadn't been Kirby invited. Will called me and said, I didn't know you had a California, California mansion, mansion, Mom. <laughs> but, and Tony asked, where was it filmed? He goes, looks like it was filmed in heaven. So, <laughs> That's it. Right. Where was it filmed, Oprah? Where no, was it? it? What can you tell us about it was, where it was filmed? It was filmed at, it was filmed at a friend's yeah. house. I'm not going to disclose the friend, because yeah. I don't want people now going Going, trying to find the friends and the friend's right. house. Okay. But it was, I have friends. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you do. You have a lot of She wasn't even trying to be overshadowing. She was just doing the work, right? The basic. Meanwhile, the others, they're just partying, drinking, smell roses, and all of that. But they're not even trying. And they want the other ones to be 50% less of herself. I mean, come on. They're really robbing the... Uh, the, the the people of the UK because they're getting million as a matter of fact I believe next year is gonna they're gonna get more money for I don't know for being royal for being there you know the thing that they were supposed to do to somewhat uh, help charities and all that so I don't know I, it's for the UK all right, next week. Can you imagine someone saying, quote, you can do this or that because it will make you look better than your older brother or sister? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Don't understand how anyone can accept this type of culture. Okay, it's weird. Why can't everybody shine and win? I don't know. This The mentality of them is beyond me. Okay, if one wins, everybody wins. That was my thought. That was my thought about the institution. I thought if any of them within the royal family, as long as they are part of the family, they do something. Let's say, for instance, the Invictus game. Harry, who was there, that was a huge win for the uh, the royal family. Anything else that any member of the royal family did, that would have been a huge plus for the institution. But they reject anything that anybody does. Look at how they kick Harry out. Okay, and Megan doing this for the institution. That was a huge plus for the institution, but they didn't see it that way. But mm, whatever's coming to them is their own doing. All right, it's weird. Why can't everybody shine and win? If one wins, everybody wins. Imagine how famous that family would be if they just let everybody shine. That's it. I agree with you. Okay, it shows that the royal family care about themselves more than their people and the UK. That's also another thing too, which I raised previously. Really foolishly claim he'll end all homeless. <laughs> he'll end all homeless. Anyone will do action first and not boast about it before, beforehand or showing off or predict what to come. Just do the work, not boasting about it. Really is suck. The royal family's royalist followers attacked every charities and foundation that Harry and Meghan touched and they showed the world how horrible the monarchy is because their people worship the wrong gods. That's for sure. I always said these people, their gods is not the one that I've, um, I, I worship. I've been baffled by otherwise intelligent American being critical of Harry's decision because he was expected to only work in support of his brother. These same people will never be satisfied with that expectation and will feel completely stifled. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. There's some people sometimes it amazes me. This is the mindset that they have. It's just because the person Harry married. That's all. All right, they just upset that Harry decided to choose a biracial as his wife. Okay, they chased Diana. There's another thing. Harry and Megan away. They chose Camilla and Kate. <laughs> Pretty telling. Okay, or being less of yourself so others can be seen as better. This, 
I don't know, this concept, I cannot understand. Exactly, I just shine so brightly because Prince Harris isn't part of that institution. Okay. Um, th what is it? Um, Scottish Little Soldiers. Okay, now it's going globally. They just see, you know what? Again, let me just leave that alone. I don't want to talk on their behalf. I think I talk about it on my other channel. So go on my our part of your service to see what I say on that. Okay, also that perplexing nonsense about citizens not to rise above their station. Again, this brings to mind when Megan was with the school kids where she was making that sign with the kids. The minute I saw that picture, because I saw the picture before the videos. When I saw that picture, it hit me. I was like, oh my God, Megan was a bright light to these kids. She was pretty much showing them that you could overcome, you could become anything, you know, that you put your mind to. You don't have to stay in that situation that you are in. That was the first thing that popped up in my mind when I saw that picture. Okay, the same people who tell us that in royalty, it's common for men to have mistresses, so it doesn't matter that Egg has one and Mumbo accepts it like the others before her. That said, okay, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, so I'm pretty much, no, 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 no. So let's rearrange this. Let's rearrange this. This will be next. I think I have one more. This one I saw, I thought that was cute, but let's change it. Okay, so I saw this and I thought I'll put it. It's only 15 seconds. Okay, she was already royal. Okay, F 15 seconds. It has been amazing, but what it's really done, which I didn't expect, was make Toronto and Canada feel like to be able to work with a Canadian company, specifically Reedman's, a family owned company that is 90 years old. I just feel incredibly privileged to be. Okay. It's been. She's always humble with uh, the way she approached things. Look at near the end where she's saying she feel privileged to be part of, uh, and then it cut. Like right here. I just feel incredibly privileged to be. Okay, that was it. Okay, let's see here. Wish I could watch the whole video. Can't get enough of her. I have only this clip. I will listen to her for hours and days. Okay, so that's it. Let's go to the other one that I had put. I don't even think I should talk about it, but it was there. Well, I don't know why I put it on the list. Okay, let's see here. The racist royal family were afraid of this, and no one can tell me otherwise. So let's see here. 14 seconds. It seems like, okay. Question we get asked, are those both your sons? Okay. So I think both of them are, actually. There's a music. Okay, question we get asked. Is one of them adopted? All right, they will assume this one will be adopted because of the blonde hair. So let's see here. No. <laughs> yeah. Look at his little dancing. So neither one of them is adopted. No. Okay, so they are biological brothers. Yeah. No. Oh, what was the other question? Uh, do... Do we worry about others' opinion? Why should they? They have to live their lives. Yeah. Oh, I missed the last one. And by yeah. the way, that little boy, the youngest, looked like her though. All right, let's see here. Are we, what is it? Are we cracking up at how weird people are? Oh, so that was the one, and they say yes. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. But the big one has a back, okay, black, I guess, black. But the big one has a black father, and the blonde boy is from her current relationship. They are still them, because Harry's ginger, and there was no way they get a dog baby. Okay, did you watch the whole, was it, did you watch the whole video? They both are her sons from the same man. Okay, genetics are wild. I love this. The whole idea of race is a construct and disproves it. Ha <laughs> ha. By the way, black mothers is much fairer than many, many non-black uh, person of color. All right, so there's more comment. Let's move on. I'm almost done. I want to finish with this video. There's no more things about Harry and Megan, I think. Uh, what? Oh my God, this was so cute. Look what he did. So cute creative uh create kid on ig this they're giving credit uh, to this person all right he wanted to cuddle with his mom 
and move his brother out the way. <laughs> but look how he's pulling the, the, the baby, the brother. All right. Okay, so that's the music I muted. Look at her. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, he moved. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, so let's see here. This is me here. Okay, how dare this newcomer takes my spot. Move along, little peasant. My mommy, lol. He was so gentle with the transfer, lol. All right, so that's it. Let's move on to the next one. What is that? Oh, Trump thing. It's a video. CNN video. All right, let's pause. There's here, like I'm dead. Okay, let's listen to it. The fact that the Trump sons, the Trump organization, did not try to have this conspiracy to defraud banks and insurers uh, to get special rates on their properties by inflating those financial statements. Now, if you remember, Don Jr. was on the stand as a state's witness just about two weeks ago, <laughs> and he distanced himself from being, you know, one of the top heads of Trump organization and preparing those financial statements. So when he takes the stand for the defense, the fact that the Trump uh, sons... Uh, uh, uh. It's a mess. They, I, I don't know. Okay, that's here. I'm dead. I'm hollowing. Look at her. Yep, with the smirk. Let's move on. There's more. But this one, I'm probably going to go over some of their posts because this, is, this was funny. Next tweet. I don't know. Maybe you guys may not find it funny. Come on. Pause, pause. Okay, that's it. Okay, ask her goes to this guy right here. All right, so what? 13 seconds. And there's others similar to this. Listen. Uh, that's the music I muted. Watch. Look, look. <laughs> that is so funny. And look at this now. Okay. There's this. Asuka goes to this goat. Okay. These. Okay. There's a couple of them. Asuka goes to these goats. Eight seconds only. Watch. Okay, there's another one here. And the asker goes to, watch this, 21 seconds. He wanted the thing to fall on him. Watch, watch. <laughs> Bloop. Now he's fixing himself. Okay, the, the music stopped. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so there was some other one. Oh, this one. This one is a good one. What? You were... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were... <laughs> oh, my God. And there's this one. I've seen this before, but watching it again, it's so funny. The dog deserves an Oscar, too. There's that. Look. There's a music. Those animals, they hang out to, with humans too much. They become like humans. Look at. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Oh my God, this one was a good one. Fifteen seconds. Watch, future actress. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that's that. That's it. Okay, let's do a prayer. Prayer for what? I don't know. Prayer for... Let's do peace. I don't know. Too many things is going on. Peace. Let's see here. Now, Lord, come to our aid, grant us peace, teach us peace, guide our steps in the way of peace, open our eyes and our hearts, and give us the courage to say, never again war. With war, everything is lost. 
and still in our heart the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace i think that's pretty good so that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you don't forget to check my other channel, Our Part of Pure Service. I have some other videos there regarding um, Archwell, charities associated with, or anything that Harry and Megan associate with. And I have Patreon if you want to, you know, support me in that aspect. Occasionally, I put random videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the Sussexes and sometimes conversations that uh, I want to share that I do not want to put on YouTube. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for your support.